I can exist in the gray areas. I can be undefined, and that is okay. I think probably the hardest thing for me when I came out in high school was not knowing what label to use. I thought that my confusion with my presentation was just me trying to fit into one of those boxes. Butch versus femme versus lipstick. I was experiencing really deep dysphoria that was more related to my gender than my sexuality. Knowing that ultimately being a part of the queer community means more than any other label would have really helped me a lot in high school. There are a lot of connotations surrounding what it means to be trans. Do you have to have hormone replacement therapy? Do you have to have surgery? Do you have to change your name? There's no right or wrong way to be trans. That's the hardest part of my identity to come to terms with because I have people all the time telling me, you're not this. How would you know? Only I can really know exactly who or what I am. We all had that experience in high school. We were like so desperately wanted a community to identify with and so much of that was finding a label that fit perfectly. Growing up, I hated my name, June. I thought it was just so Korean and for me it was like, such a source of bullying. And so I was really trying to desperately search for a different name. And then of course, as I kind of grew into who I was, I started really embracing my Korean American identity and also realized that I'm genderqueer and I really like June because it sounds very androgynous and you know, I just think it really captures who I am, so June. <laughs> The more that we realize that gender and sexuality are all pretty much made up in a lie, we are just kind of like, eh, like, none of these words really fit, so we're just gonna, gonna go under this umbrella of queer and like anyone who wants to know more. We can talk about that, but there isn't really a, a word for it. The cool thing about being queer is it's an umbrella term. You can embrace the ambiguity and fluidity of sexuality. You don't have to know exactly who or what you are, and that's okay. When I started dating my partner. They kind of opened my eyes to the fluidity of sexuality. I realized that, okay, I'm not gay, but I can be in love with anyone, and I don't need to necessarily hang on to that label. I could expand it. <laughs>